regardless of the type of scanner that you use, any one of them, what's the value of bringing the data they collect into Curator? Why is it that you want to know in Curator what's actually vulnerable out there? Let's actually show that with an example. Let's take a look at this offense. It says destination vulnerable to detected exploit. Let's see the details of that rule. So we need to do is click here and we see actually the detail. Let's actually see the test conditions. Notice that it says the first condition says reads when the event category is one of the following, exploit or potential exploit. This is your IPS typically telling you that there is an attempt of exploitation. But these things are very noisy because the IPS knows what's under attack but has no clue whether there is a vulnerability that matches that type of attack. It, it really doesn't know. So again, you need to treat this with, with this condition alone. You're not going to fire an offense. Otherwise, uh, with all the automated attacks that go out there, you will never uh, you will fill your curator with false positive. But let's take a look at the second condition. The second condition reads, well, when the, this thing is happening within my local network, my own network, this is local to local, or remote to local, or from the outside in. Uh, that makes it a little bit more qualified. And then the third one is the one that does the trick and reads, when the destination is vulnerable to current exploit on current port. What that means is that curator gets fed with a vulnerability data from MITRE every night and it has a table that matches the type of vulnerability with the type of attack and what this is actually telling is that that exploit that we saw in the first condition matches the type of vulnerability that exists in the system by virtue of we getting the vulnerability data. Again, the scanner knows what's uh, what's uh, uh, vulnerable but doesn't know what's under attack. The IPS is just the opposite. Curator brings those two things together and reason number one is that you can have rules that fire on this condition. But there's more. Well, first of all, it's actually very easy. If you go here into the admin tab and if you go on the vulnerability data, it is trivial to actually add a particular scanner here and put the credentials and go and retrieve the data every so often if you wanted to. But with that information, Curator can know who is who out there. I mean, that vulnerability data allows it to identify mail servers, FTP servers, and stuff like that, that, that complemented with the capability of Curator of working with NetFlows. It can help you identify everything that is up there. As you know, by virtue of the port being used, Curira can detect all these type of servers, right? And you can specify, and again, this can be a little noisy because just the fact that you, somebody attempted to use the port doesn't mean that he effectively used it, but you can actually look at the rest of the flow and determine whether the traffic has been going or not. That's uh, another reason for bringing vulnerability data and scan data into Curator. And the final reason will be that you can, when you have all your vulnerabilities from your scanner and multiple scanners, if, if that is the case, you can actually search the metadata in those vulnerabilities by going into the, the standard way that Curator makes searches and notice all the search parameters that you have in here. Just actually, for example, I want to see whether the, the, there's a virtual path, let's say, that we use, uh, well, let's leave that, checkpoint. How many of those vulnerabilities that we have into the system have a virtual path from checkpoint? Because that data is in the metadata of that, it comes back in saying, oh, the, this one, these are actually pretty old. Uh, but so we can click in here, and when we actually see the data of the vulnerability, notice that in this section precisely here, it says virtual patching, and you can actually search uh, those parameters into Curator. Again, some reasons why you don't have to, but it might be useful to bring vulnerability data to Curator, regardless of what scanner you actually use.